for the brow area of Kanker we're going to use the one rail system so we will have for each side of the brow four on four controls um, we will have them on a control that you can move in Y up and down and the X or the Z will be like the normal in the wall um, thanks to the plus that we add to each of these locators we can connect this other control so we can have a control that move up and down everything so if we see the mess now we have a control that moves up and down the brows and it moves on the arc we need and you can tweak each of them and making them move separately um, for the deformation what we will need to do is before we can have a join for each of the controls we want to have a second one so we don't lose volume when we go down with the brown it doesn't get flat or it doesn't go IP or go through so with secondary we will create a second locator that is always going to be a percent of the endpoint and this control value so it will never collapse it will never be going through the control and now we can do from there we can get the joints so we can see the the formation on the bind rig so we can see that now we have a joint for the control and a joint for the second locator this is always staying behind what this will do is we can see that our geometry is not really collapsing because these second locators and joints the after for the deformation will kill that area not moving an arc so when we go up and down we see the arc motion